This video is about ankle injuries. Ankle, we simply know, is the junction of our leg and the foot, right? So, basic joint which is making our ankle is between the tibia and the talus. The main joint, that is tibio talar joint. Right? There are certain points or certain facts that we need to know about ankle injuries. Number one, this is the least commonest joint to dislocate. Why so? Because there are certain ligaments which are present on medial side, lateral side and in between the tibia and the fibula. Number two, most common ligament injuries are seen in ankle. Right? These are two main important points. Now we must know what are the ligaments which are present around the ankle. So ligaments around the ankle they are On medial side, the ligaments are known as medial collateral ligament, right? On lateral side, they are lateral collateral ligament and in between, they are syndesmotic ligament. Syndesmotic ligaments, they are between the tibia and the fibula per se. Now, these medial collateral ligament, they are again three in number. What are those? Number one. tibio talar ligament and how do we remember it medial side is your tibia right so other ligament should be so from tibia to talus now this tibio talar ligament it can be again anterior or it can be posterior second is tibio calcaneal ligament and third is tibio navicular ligament so very easy to remember all the three ligaments arising from the tibia tibia to talus tibia to calcaneum and tibia to the navicular same way on the lateral side all the ligaments should be attached to the fibula same way from the lateral side the ligament should be attached to fibula so these are talus to fibula talofibular ligament right now they are again anterior and posterior anterior talofibular and posterior talofibular second is calcaneofibular calcaneum to the fibula so lateral collateral will be attached to fibula medial collateral will be attached to tibia very simple syndesmotic means the ligaments which are present between tibia and fibula so these are anterior and posterior tibiofibular ligament because of the presence of these ligament on all the three sides ankle is the least commonest joint to dislocate right so this is some basic point now we talk about the injuries around the ankle first the bony ones and then the ligamentous injuries so bony injuries how do we define them bony injuries they have got certain eponyms right what are those eponyms? I'll tell you about the eponyms. The eponyms. Certain eponyms are used. Number one. What is Potts fracture? Potts fracture is bimalleolar fracture. Bimalleolar fracture. That means medial malleolus and lateral malleolus. Second is Cotton's fracture. Cottons means trimalleolar fracture. The medial malleolus, the lateral malleolus, and the posterior malleolus. Number three is a pylon's fracture. Pylon means intraarticular fracture of ankle. Number four is mesoneo.
this is mesonev fracture what is this this is actually a spiral fracture of proximal fibula spiral fracture of proximal fibula with unstable ankle injury right these are the eponyms of certain fracture around the ankle not talking about the ligamentous injuries ligament injury the most common mechanism right the most common mechanism related to ankle injury is supination and eversion supination and eversion of ankle this is the most common mechanism related to ankle injury right now sometimes a question is asked to you what all ligaments the question is what all ligaments are injured on inversion of ankle right so in the foot is under surface of the foot will be facing medially so the structures injured on inversion of ankle what are the injured on inversion of ankle i'll give you one simple mnemonic the mnemonic is f l a a p flap what is this f inversion you need to understand is when under surface the under surface of foot a foot it faces medially that means when it will face medially all the structures injured f l a a p they should be on the lateral side so f stands for fracture of fifth metatarsal base that is usually known as jones fracture l stands for lateral collateral injury so ligaments present under this heading they are liable to get injured on inversion of the ankle now another question can be asked to you what is that which is the most commonest ligament ruptured around ankle the most commonest ligament ruptured around ankle is the anterior talo fibular ligament this is the most commonest ligament injured around the ankle right so inversion of the ankle can cause a injury to lateral collateral ligaments and out of these lateral collateral overall the most commonest ligament injured is anterior talo fibular ligament right next is a what is this a a stands for avulsion of sorry avulsion of lateral malleolus that is on lateral side that means fibula lower end of fibula will get injured again on lateral side next a stands for avulsion of sustenta culum talae avulsion of sustenta culum talae and p stands for peroneal tendon injury p stands for peroneal tendon sorry peroneal tendon so these are the ligaments or structures which are injured on inversion of the ankle so now we know the bony injuries the eponyms now we know the ligamentous injuries of the ankle we know the mechanism the most common one causing injury around the ankle and why ankle is one of the strongest joint to show you least commonest dislocations right so this is some about ankle injuries now sometimes they may ask you the classification system which are used so classification system that we commonly use in ankle injuries they are just two you may just know the names of them the classification used the classification followed they are one is log hansen classification that is log hansen 
classification. Second is Weber classification. So Weber basically includes the injury to so Log Hansen and Weber are two classification systems which are used for injuries around the ankle, right? So this is in short about ankle injury.